Hello people, it's Sheila and happy Sunday. So I need to make about three videos today. So I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna sure try. I wanna start by first saying, since it's Super Bowl Sunday, happy Super Bowl Sunday. And um, in case you can't figure it out with the blue nails and the blue top, and I've got on black leggings that you can't see, but my black and white scarf going on, I am rooting for the Panthers. I am a Virginia, Virginian, Virginia native. <laughs> and um, my sister lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi, Joyce. So, um, yeah, I just have to root for the Panthers. I honestly don't know anything about the Panthers, I have to admit, but because, you know, I have to represent for my family. So today I am rooting for the Panthers. Go Panthers, go. So if you can't figure out by the title of this video, you might be a little bit confused. Um, I have been mentioning that I am going to be headed to visit my family in Virginia within the next few weeks. And so because of that, or actually sooner than the next few weeks, um, sooner than later, I guess. So anyway, so this week is the week that I'm going to start packing. I'm going to, um, I need to work through my purse, things like that. I was on a quest there for a while to try to find a new bag. I wanted something that would be crossbody. Um, but I really found that I really have to have something to carry in my hand also because I've carried purses in my hand forever. And because of that, I was on a quest, a serious quest. And um, so anyway, I found a new bag, which hence I wanted to do this video as well. But also because when I fly, I have to go through my bag and make sure I don't have things that are going to get me locked up at the airport or anything crazy or, you know, where someone's going to think that I'm a terrorist or I don't know, whatever. So um, I have to what I consider um, airport proof my purse. <laughs> So um, that being said, I thought, you know, I'm going to share this week with you all my what's in my bag airport style or travel style, whatever. I'm not even sure what I'm going to name this video. And then I may even share with you some of the things that I'm going to be packing. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you my purse. Um, before I show it to you, though, actually, I want to say um, I honestly have no idea what the name of my purse is. Um, I... No, knew that I wanted something leather. I wanted something, um, how do I put it? I wanted it big and I wanted it to be able to carry everything that I wanted to carry. I wasn't sure what color I was going for. I ended up with black. Um, but anyway, I ended up in Nordstrom's rack because when I was in Houston, I saw several purses in Nordstrom's rack and became addicted to Nordstrom's rack, which is so weird because every time I go to Houston, I want to go to Nordstrom's rack. I live here in San Antonio, they're Nordstrom's rack all around me, but I never go to them. So I'm not real sure what my problem is with that. But anyway, so from being in Houston and getting kind of addicted to Nordstrom's rack, when I came back to San Antonio, I wanted to check out Nordstrom's rack here and see if I could find anything similar to or whatever close to what I wanted, even though I wasn't even sure what I wanted. I'm saying a whole lot right now, right? But anyway, so I find this purse. I walk in on my lunch hour. I see this purse. I'm like, oh, MG, it is the purse. It is the one I want. I have no idea what name it is. It's hanging on the rack that actually is for... Um, uh, what is it, um, Rebecca Minkoff? And I knew that it couldn't really, well, I'm not gonna say I knew that it couldn't be, but I'm gonna say that I was thinking in my head that really can't be a Rebecca Minkoff bag because it really doesn't look like her bags. But then again, I don't know all of her bags. Maybe the girl just stepped out on a whim or something, you know? So anyway, <laughs> I run practically run over to the rack because there's like two left. I don't know what, what I was thinking because I guess I was thinking somebody was going to bum guard me and grab the two purses before I got a chance to get at least one of them. But anyway, I grab the purse up and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, I love this bag. I love this bag. So, um, but of course my mind's racing in my head. I've got a couple bags on offer up to sell and I'm telling myself I can't buy one with t without selling the others. So, um, yeah, so I go up to the register put the bag on hold long story short I sold my bags and I was able to get this one so I'm pretty stoked that I was able to get this bag and um, I'm gonna kind of show you the name which you can't really see all the way with this receipt or not receipt but the tag 
I have no idea how to pronounce this name. I'm going to put it here, but it is L-I-E-B-S-K-I-N-D. You can't see that part right there, but it is also on the purse as well. Never heard of this brand before. I do know it feels like a really good leather, and um, I don't know. I just like the bag. So when I saw it, I was like, yay, I'm going to have to get this bag. Um, it was at a great price point. You know how Nordstrom's Rack is. It kind of, you know, it's like the TJ Maxx's and everything. You're going to get a nicer bag at a lower price because they, I don't, I'm not sure what Nordstrom's Rack, I don't know if it's things that didn't meet the inspection or whatever, but anyway, I got a bag that was worth probably about $400 for a lot less. So, um, and I got my little receipt here because, um, actually I'm going to be going back into the store one day next week and the gentleman in there, because I ended up signing up for their debit card thing to get some perk points and all that good stuff and so i'm going to take my receipt back and he's going to ret return and rebuy so that i can get my points because i actually bought this one before they offered me the um the debit card thingy and the girl because the girl never even mentioned it to me they're going to go ahead and and kind of i guess backdate type of a thing so anyway i've already been going for five minutes and i haven't even shown you my bag yet so as you all know go ahead and get yourself i'm drinking coffee because i for some reason today i just feel like i want coffee i've had my cup already this morning and i think it's my allergies i just feel kind of nasally my throat's not feeling the greatest and the warmth of the coffee just feels so good so i'm sipping on coffee so go ahead and grab yourself something at super bowl sunday heck grab yourself a glass of wine cold beer even because if that's your forte um this is my forte today so this is what i'm going to be sipping on oh my god it just oh it's so good it's the san antonio brand um uh ole cafe ole uh for the curry the k cups so anyway um without further ado let me just go ahead and show you my bag you can get it up here okay so if you i don't know it's like all up in your face there but um, and then let me show you again the name of the bag real quick because it is on the bag Let me figure out how to do this. Hopefully you can see that See there is the name and it says Berlin right underneath the name So anyway, I looked it up and um, I didn't see this particular bag on their website, but I saw some other bags and um, the, I saw one very similar to this one, but it this was different I think or whatever I can't even remember now But anyway, I, I it doesn't matter like I wasn't out there trying to find a bag that everybody else carried I just wanted the bag that Sheila wanted. Okay, so this is the bag that I have It's got these two really cool pockets in the front The only thing I can honestly say that I don't like about this bag at this point really is just I wish this was not suede I wish this was leather also because I got a feeling that I'm gonna get like a complex trying to carry this in the summer and think that this is supposed to be a winter bag but then again I don't know maybe I'll just forget that and not even worry about it but um, yeah so I love the fact that it has the um, gold I mean not the gold the silver tone hardware because I um, I really like silver jewelry more so than gold I think and so this kind of looks kind of like the older um, it's not really it's not I don't know it looks like it's been beat up a little bit if you can I don't know if you can really tell but it has like that little that look that it's been used and worn a little bit so I just really really like the hardware on the bag and it does have a longer strap and this folds up look and I don't like that I wish that it had another one of the little um, you know the little things that would keep it from folding up but it doesn't so it constantly folds up and I keep on doing this little number to it, but it's just not gonna help it. So, and then it has a cute little, a cute, a cute little buckle here because it actually will unbuckle and you know, the two straps will come apart. But of course it has the little closures where you can take the strap off. And then this does have two handles here. So yeah, that is the front of the bag. And then this cool zipper on the outside is, comes in handy to carry all my the things that I wanna grab for right away, like my keys, my um, cell phone, and my reading glasses. And then the back is just a, plain old bag there's nothing on the back so that is my bag and again like I said um I feel right now that this is the perfect bag for me two weeks from now I'm probably gonna be telling y'all I have found another bag that's perfect for me but I I you all know my process I will buy I will sell I will buy I will sell I will sell I will buy I don't know I just like bags I like switching them around and it took me a bit to realize that I really like um I, you know well for a while there, I was trying to go on that kick where just find one nice bag and carry it. And that's when I got my Louis Vuitton that I had always wanted and still love my Louis Vuitton. Don't get me wrong. That bag is still my heart. It means so much to me. But I did realize that I really, 
you know, as nice as that bag is and as much as I love that bag, I still have to have, you know, other bags. Like I need bags that are going to represent who I am on a day-to-day -day basis as my mood changes, as I become different people throughout my course of life because I am I am so versatile. I'm one way one day and I'm totally different the next day. So anyway, I just decided to go ahead and be me, which is part of my uh, New Year's um, life changes is that, you know, I really want to make sure that I'm staying true to myself. So anyway, I'm now at 10. Oh my God, people. Like seriously, this is going to be the longest video ever. So anyway, um, I guess we can start by the pockets here. Um, you can't really see, I know, but I'll just kind of, in this pocket here, I've just got um, mint, which those are going to stay in my bag. And then I've got um, peppermint and some hot balls and stuff like that, which these will definitely stay in my bag. I, I know I only have gum in there, but I think I don't know what happened to my gum. Actually, I think I saw it in the floor of my car. So I think my bag at some point must have fallen upside down and my gum fell out. So that's what I have in this first pocket right here. And I have to tuck that back in there. So, and then in this pocket right here, I've got, <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I just looked at that and I laughed because um, I'm going to just kind of hold all these things in my hand. You know, it's so funny. I, I've been watching several of what's in my bag videos and I always laugh when people go, I have no idea what's in my bag. And then they pull out these things that seem very prompt, like, um, you know, like uh, they just so happen to have, I don't know. I just, I feel that a lot of those are that these are things that I've just stuck in my bag so that I can kind of demonstrate, you know, talk about them or um, speak of them so that you will want to go out and buy them or whatever. But this is really what's in my bag. Like, I don't, I mean, I, it's what it is, is what it is basically. And I sucked this in my bag the other day, um, from work because this is a perfume that I keep in, at my job and this is a juicy couture. And this was like a little one that came with the big one that I, for the longest time, never even opened. Oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. This isn't that one. That one, I think I ended up wasting, or it might be over there still. I'm not sure. This is actually one of the ones that one of my customers gave me um, at the club. I just remember that because I have this one, but I think I may, I don't know, it might be still over there. My, I keep looking over there because that's where all my perfume is. But this one was one that one of my customers gave me. Um, she didn't have money to tip me when I was working in my part-time job, and she gave this to me. And she said, hey, you can smell good on me. Okay, whatever. So um, it's a Juicy Couture. And I do love the Juicy Couture fragrance. I actually have one of these somewhere. If I haven't, I don't think I've used it up. I can't remember. But I, um, I kept this at work for the longest time. And I decided that I'm going to actually take it with me on my trip. I have another little one that I actually got with um, Perk Points from Sephora. And that one's the Guilty um, by Gucci. But yeah, so I wanted to carry, I'm trying to really go minimize as much as I can for my trip. And so I put this in my purse so that I would bring it home so that I could pack it in my bag. So that's why that's in my purse. And then I have some hand sanitizer and of course it's kind of worn right now, it looks like, but this is the stress relief one. I always try to keep hand sanitizer in my purse. And then I've got a Sephora moisturizing um, cream, which this is, I really think it's meant for the face, but I always use this on my hands because I don't know, it just feels good on my hands and my hands get really, really dry. And then I have one of these little um, cloths for cleaning your glasses and whatnot with. And then I've got some money. And this is money that I found like in the laundry and whenever I find money in the laundry, it's mine. So um, for whatever reason, instead of putting it in my wallet, I stuck it in that little pocket. And then I have my little Sephora uh, mirror, which is the one that's the two-sided. It has the magnifying glass on one side and then the regular one on the other side. So I'm gonna just stick that right back in my bag because these are things that it's okay if they go with me to the airport so we those are good and I'm actually not gonna put the perfume back in there because that is actually gonna go inside of my makeup bag which will go in my backpack that I'm going to carry um, I think those are gonna go in my backpack so that is closed or I don't know if it closed did it close maybe not okay there we go so now we're gonna open up the zippered part and um, typically, like I said, I usually keep my iPhone in there, but my, I'm actually filming on my iPhone, so my iPhone's not in there right now. But um, I also keep my glasses in there. So here are my glasses. And then, is anything else in there? Um, I have an Advil packet in here. Um, it's been a rough week and I needed this all week. So have a little Advil pack in there. And these are just my reading glasses. And I would normally have my keys if I was like out and about in the store 
But um, last night when I came home, I actually, I think I just stuck my keys on my little key rack that's in my kitchen area. So that's the only things that's in that little part. And again, like I said, this is my perfect little quick access part storage area for on my purse. And then if I open up the top part, which is a zipper that I love having a zipper bag, it is black on the inside. It's the black hole, people. So, um, yeah, but um, I guess, you know, I don't know. I, I watched a video the other day where the lady was speaking of that. And I was kind of like, you know, I, I remember at one point sometime thinking about that, like, you know, like when I can't find something in my bag, it's because everything I have is black and it just falls down in there and I can't see. But then I don't really make it an issue when I go to buy a bag. Actually, I don't like bags that are w weird colors on the inside more so than not if they're black. I know that sounds weird. Like, I don't like like a purple bag on the inside or a bag that has purple and white or I don't know. I just feel like they just look, it takes away from the, um, how shall I put it? It it lessens the the value in my opinion as far as the, I don't know I, I shouldn't say that but that's just how I feel I don't know I, I don't feel like it it loses some of its elegance that's what I'm trying to say so um, we're gonna start by these little pockets that I have let me see I have the two little pockets these are called media pockets I just learned that recently by watching and just reading up on different purses I always just call them pockets but they're really called media pockets so anyway in this media pocket I have two pens and um, one of them is one of those pens that you can change all the colors and then uh, the other one is my standard pen that's always in my bag and then I have a, a pick for my hair which is a smaller version. It's not the biggest and it's not the smallest one, but I guess more or less like a medium size. And that's the only thing that's in, okay, hello, in that pocket there. And I don't have anything in this pocket. Wow, I think it's because I have kind of really tried to, um, how do I put it? Um, I've been carrying little bags within my bag because I'm really trying to stay a lot more organized and I want to make sure that when I do transition from one purse to another purse that it's an easy transition so um, this I found a little system that's been working for me and then on the other side I have a little pocket that's kind of a cool little pocket and I just realized I still have like a little sticker tag that's on there that um, is part of the that was part of the bag tag that you know like the price of the bag and all that good stuff Oh, there's my um, thing in there file. I was wondering where it was. This one is about ready to be thrown away. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and toss that one. I've got tons of thing in there files because whenever I need to add a dollar to Ulta, a purchase at Ulta to make my $10, I'll go buy myself a thing in there file because I go through them a lot so I can never have too many. And then um, the only other thing that's in here, which this is something that I am going to go ahead and take out of my bag. It typically stays in my bag, and it's like um, a little knife thing. It's been in my bag forever. Um, it has like a bottle opener. This is like a little miniature fingernail file. And then this one is kind of like, it would be like a knife, but it's not sharp enough. Well, I guess you could probably hurt somebody with it if push came to shove. And then I have uh, fingernail clippers on that side, and then I have two safety pins that are attached. So this is something that I don't take with me to the airport because of the little knife thing on there. And I don't... I don't know about fingernail clippers. I don't know if those are considered. I can't remember. Was there like some talk about that or something? But I'm not even worried about it because it will come out of my bag. And so I will set this in my little dish. Probably the little dish that's over there um, until I come back. And um, then I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and put it back in my bag. Because I like having it in there. And so then behind that little pocket is a zipper. And let's go inside that zipper and see what's in here. I have, whoa. Oh my goodness. I only have two four of these left, which I really need to get some more. These are my sinus, um, what is it, uh, sinus something or others that I have. I can't think of the name of them right now, but um, these, I was like looking to see if I can't really even tell what's on there any, either, but I love taking these. These are awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll talk more about these when I'm doing my change of life. Um, life changes my change of life i am going through that too though but my life changes video which i need to do one of those today but um these are so important to me like they they perform miracles and i have to have them and then i have my little um this is kind of like this is a keychain that came from my friend uh slash co-worker when she went to florida and this is one of those old tupperware keychain things that it, it's actually supposed to be a pill box but I don't really keep pills in that one. And then these are the little skew tags, the little scanners. And I know I can put these on my phone, but I don't know. That just seems like too much trouble. I downloaded the app, but that's about as far as I got. 
And then what else is in here? I have my square, um, my little square thingy. I don't know what to run credit cards on. And then this is something that's going to have to come out of my purse. Uh, this is a screwdriver that um, it's a Phillip head on one side and a flat head on the other side that was given to me by my customer, which you can't tell anymore. The name is not on there visible anymore. It's pretty much worn off. But this was probably like the best thing anybody could ever have given me. I have used this thing so much since I've had it and it just comes in handy. I know it's like kind of weird to be like, you girl, you're carrying a screwdriver around in your purse. But I mean, the way it's set up, I mean, you really, it looks like a pen or something. So it just, I... I'm gonna regret not having this in my bag, I know this week, but I'm, I'm really trying to go ahead and get ahead of the game as far as getting ready for my trip. So these two things are gonna go in my little basket to wait for me to come back for my trip. And so I'm going to stick these things back inside my bag because these are okay to go in my on my trip. And I don't like to lose things, so I like to know where they are. So I'm going to go ahead and stick them right back in there. So then, and to the black hole we go. Now the first thing I am going to reach and grab still has a tag on it because I actually bought this, not the day that I bought this bag, but I will be doing a sneak preview of a, uh, maybe I'll do it at the end of this video. I mean, I've already been going for 20 minutes, so e, I'm kind of afraid that you guys are going to like hate me. So maybe I won't do it this video, but um, I left a tag on it because I wanted to show it to you all. And um, I don't know, I just didn't take the tag off. So anyway, here is the tag. And this is um, by Keystrel, I guess is what that says. And it is just a little black pouch with a gold zipper on it. Would have been pretty if it was a silver tone zipper, but none of them came in a silver tone zipper. And when you open up this pouch, it's a little pill bottle. Now, if you notice, it has pills in it. I did take the time this morning to put my pills in here because another reason why I didn't take the tag off is I wanted to make sure that I could get um, my pills inside of this. And before you freak out, no, these are not like I, these are not prescription pills. These are actually all vitamins that I take, um, which these are, um, I have my fish oil, my biotin, which I'm out of. I think I only have one biotin pill in here. And then I have my multivitamin and I have my um, vitamin D pill in here as well. So inside of my little pill box, and it has all the dates from Sunday through Friday, or I'm sorry, Sunday through Saturday. And then it has one little box for an extra one. And I know if you notice, I didn't, I take those sinus pills every day, but I can carry that little pack in my bag and, um, I wouldn't have room for all the, that many big, big pills because that is two pills a day and sometimes three, depending on how I feel. So, um, yeah, I just don't, I don't put that inside of this, but, um, I actually kind of like this. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and I actually think this is pretty cool. It was like a very good price at Nordstrom's rack and, um, yeah, I'm just kind of glad that I got it, but this will work perfectly for my trip because that way I don't have to worry about having um, big vitamin pill bottles or anything like that in my suitcase because again, I'm minimizing my things that I take with me And then I have this little pouch right here that says content my life um, And then it has this beautiful lipstick on it um, that is a beautiful red And this is a bag that I got from Sephora when they did their lip event I went through heck to get this bag and that's another whole video that we won't even get into right now But I was so upset at the way they handled that last slip event for the VIP Rouge people. And it was my first like thing to attend as a VIP Rouge. So I was just really disappointed. But inside of here, I just have a few things of makeup. Um, I basically only carry like lipstick, which I mean, I can kind of very rarely quickly show you. I don't want to make this about what's in this, but um, I just have like um, lipsticks and then I have my lip treatment and different things like that. Like I don't really carry, like I usually have a little tiny bottle of foundation and I don't know if that's in here. I think it is. And then I have this little thing that it, I will show you this though. This little thing, it's from Mary Kay. I've had it forever and um, it has powder in it. And it's like, it, I pulled it out the other day because I was like, you know, I, I don't know, one day I wanted some powder for some reason. I don't typically, I don't repowder, I don't touch up throughout the day. But for some reason, I think I was, I don't know what, I think it was one of those allergy days and I really kind of felt like my nose just was on, just like, I don't know, just out of control. So um, I 
I was thinking I should have had this in my bag. And so I came home and put a little powder, dusted around in some powder. And so now it's inside my bag. I love this little thing. And I wish I could find another one because this is really, really old. I want to say this thing is at least 25 years old, y'all. And I kid you not. Like, I'm so serious. But I do love having that little thing. So that's the only thing I'll show you that's in my bag. Everything else is my basic lipsticks that I have. The one I have on my lips right now. Just, you know, just my basic stuff. So then this little bag right here is the bag that I showed you guys a while back. And it was housing my makeup as well as my receipts. And it's from Fossil. Um, I really do like this bag, but I have recently discovered that there's something that I absolutely cannot stand about this bag. This stuff right here totally sheds, y'all. And I can't stand that about this bag. And I don't know if I just didn't notice it because my other bags weren't as dark on the inside. But if I look down inside of my big bag here, I have tons of little brown and white hairs all over the place. And I cannot stand that. So um, I'm struggling on this right now because I'm just like, why, why? I don't know, I hate that. So I'm gonna dump it out um, once I take everything out of this bag and kind of clean it out. But I know it's just gonna get right back in there. So now that I no longer carry my makeup in this bag, this has tons of receipts. And then the little spots that have like extra room, I have some extra cards that are really just perk cards because I don't carry credit cards. But I do like this little bag. I just don't like the fact that it sheds all over the world. And so the next thing I'm pulling out is my Kate Spade wallet that I have had now, I think going on two years, maybe two and a half years, I guess. Um, I'm getting text messages, I'm so sorry. Um, but I am really, really loving this wallet. But I have been kind of like on the quest to find a new wallet. And there is one that I'm looking at on OfferUp. And it is um, a Tory Burch wallet. Uh, the girl is offering it to me at a kind of a good price. I'm hoping that I, I'm going to be able to talk her down just a little bit more. Uh, because it really isn't as small as I wanted. I wanted one that will fit inside of my, my crossbody bags that's really really small but this one is smaller than this one and i'm kind of i don't know i'm just kind of feeling the new wallet blues for some reason this one is an excellent excellent shape i love this wallet and it's green which is my favorite color in case you guys didn't know that when i got my green handbag i was telling everybody about my green fetish um so i do love this wallet so so much i'm just kind of like on a wallet fetish i think it's because i've just carried this one and i'm just ready for like a little bit of a change so i'm kind of up in the air what's going to happen with that and then the next thing that i'm going to grab out of here this is a coach bag that i've had um forever and a day it used to have I think a little leather thing that was on the top here that was attached to it that said coach, but that's been long gone. This is super old. It is so old. I can't, this is probably another one of those things that could very well be about 20 years old, if not older, but this house is all my little female things in here. So we don't need to open that up or talk too much about it because I am still within that rightful old time of life where I still get that little visitor once a month. And the next thing that I'm going to grab out, and this is, um, get in on this, and this is the Nordstrom Award thing. This is what I was telling you all about. Um, this is uh, this has my receipts on my purchases that I made that day as far as being able to get the perk points. And supposedly I am going to get $50 to spend anywhere that I want to within any of the Nordstrom's rack stores. I should be getting it in the mail within about seven days. And this is um, basically using their debit card. So I'm pretty excited about it. This is the first time I've ever done that. But when they said $50, you know me, I'm all about a bargain. And I saw a couple of things in there that I kind of wanted. So I, I this won't stay in there. This was just in there for me being in the store on Thursday. And I had not taken it out. And then the next thing, this still has a receipt on it because I was actually like very undecided about holding on to this or getting rid of. And I actually had forgot it was even in my wallet. It still has a receipt on it. I got it on the clearance rack and it is by Fry, but it is a little, um, and I think I showed this to you in a haul video, but this is a little like um, notepad type of a book. It just has all blank pages in there. Of course, I haven't written in it because I was actually contemplating on if it was really worth me keeping. And I still haven't 100% decided yet because I still have the receipt for it. So it definitely can go back at any point. But um, it was on clearance, the yellow sticker for $22 from $40, which, eh, I mean, almost half price. But I don't know. I think I probably will keep it because it's, it's really nice to have a little notepad when you need it inside your wallet. Because, you know, we do so much on our cell phones that... You know, I still like to sometimes write things down and I think with me taking my trip, this just really might come in handy. And I think that pretty much is gonna wipe me out as far as, yeah, that is everything that's within that black hole of mine. But um, 
yeah I don't know let me see how all that that is all from this little baby right here and I guess it was already coming off I just didn't know it because carrying bags that were white or lighter color on the inside it probably just blended in and I never saw it but I can so see it right now and it's just aggravating it's all get out so yeah so um, I'm going to totally turn this purse inside out you know what let me just take this out because this will fall out and those were the only things I think that I actually need to take out of my purse which is pretty awesome but so then my purse will actually be airport flight ready or whatever so um, but I'm gonna turn my purse upside down and then real quick, I'm going to kind of stand up and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on, as a crossbody bag. I think I can do that without ah, <laughs> without causing too much fuss as I not hit the whole desk there and almost knock everything over. But yeah, so if I stand up, no, I guess you can't really tell. But it fits as a crossbody really good. It's just, I mean, it hits me at a really, really good spot. I don't know. Let's see if I can slide this down a little bit. My phone's tilting, but it does hit at a really good spot as far as being a nice carry crossbody bag. And most of the time I do find myself carrying it with the handles because I just love carrying my bags with a handle. But this also will fit on my shoulders. I did discover that the other day. I threw it on my shoulders. I think with the way it swags down, it just, it totally will fit on my shoulders. Like, let's see. See, it will totally fit on my shoulders also. So yeah, so this is my, whatever the name brand of this bag is. I have no idea, people. I wish I knew how to pronounce it, but I really don't. So um, yeah, but this is my bag that I will be carrying on my trip and it is now going to be airport friendly. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm so sorry. I know I talked for quite a while, but I just kind of wanted to just, I don't know, go over a few things and then just kind of explain to you the whole thing about me wanting this purse and deciding to get a new purse because I know it probably seems like I get a lot of purses and um, but I do sell when I buy a new like I either sell and then buy a new or buy a new and then sell like I I don't really have as many purses as it may appear that I have so I just want to get that out there and um, yeah so that was pretty much it y'all so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my very next video